morning friends so today we are going to learn how to build the fixed position etx template so this is one sample template for the fixed position base etx report so as we discussed there are three sections first section is the data, data definition template definition second section is for the headers where column headers are there for the report and the third section is for the printing the data onto the uh, in the report so this is one section for the printing the data in the report so as this is the fixed position based report so in this we are going to give the positions as well as length for that particular column or the delimiters so here you can see one more additional two more additional uh, columns like positions and fixed uh, length so here we are going the position from which position we want to start the report and till what length we want to print that particular position so likewise we are giving all uh, uh, positions and then for all the columns the same for the data as well and one more additional uh, concept is here is the r padding r padding is for each column into the uh, we are going the r padding for each columns as well as the delimiter according to the whatever length we are giving to that respective columns so as we learned uh, in our previous uh, video that we have already developed uh, the data model as well as the report for the e-text template which is the delimiter based e-template so we are going to use the same data model for and just add this particular uh, fixed position layout in that uh, report so we'll open first data model which is already created by us which is e-text delete which is the data model name so we'll open that particular data model and see what it includes so in this data model you can see we have already developed one sql query data set so this is the sql query for this uh, report we are using so we are just to have a look of the data we are going to click on the view and check the data and click on the table view for the same so again click on the tree view so that we can build a report so according to this tree view we are going to build the report as we discussed we have to enter the data group so here our data group is data underscore ds so we have print that and we are now uh, giving the column headings like we are printing the person id as a column heading so we are giving here the person id as column heading 1 so first for the person id length is 1 to 15 and then next for delimiters length is position is 16 and length is 3 and the next column heading is the title so accordingly uh, as per our convenient or as per our requirement we can uh, you can give the positions and length and the column headings so here we have given the title as the second column heading and then delimiter we are printing next column heading is the first name so same we are giving here so next column heading is the first name and we are printing after that we are printing the delimiter so delimiter is used with pipe delimiter we are going to use in this report so now for the last name we have to add one more row so we are adding one more row below to that and give the position which is 94 to the 20th length length should be the 20 and rest is the same like alpha then r padding is the same as mentioned above so we are just copying from it from above row column to the below And we are giving the column heading in single inverted comma as last name
now loop is nothing but our g1 g underscore 1 so we are giving as g underscore 1 and same xml tag here we are giving the xml tags to print the value of that particular data or column so here xml tag we are printing as person id again the delimiter is the pi so likewise we are giving the xml tags and the delimiters so same for the next is the title and the delimiter is the pi and next is the first name and delimiter is again pi and now again we have to insert one more row for the last name so we are inserting the one more row below to that and the position should be the same as we mentioned above like 94 and length should be the 20 and we are giving the xml tag as last name and we are mentioning the loop as g1 g underscore 1 as we mentioned above and same for the data group we are mentioning the data group as data underscore ds as we can see from the tree view from the application so likewise we have developed the report now we are going to save this report so we are going to save this report in appropriate folder in our local machine So here we have created one more folder as for the fixed position report. Please give and select type as read RTF template because we are yeah, generating the RTF template and give the appropriate file name to this RTF template. Click on the save. Now we will open the application and check our existing report to view the existing report we will navigate to the catalog and open our existing report which is the delimiter based report we will going to click on the edit here you can see already we have added one more template to check we are clear. click on the view report so here you can see report has been successfully completed and the data is in delimiter based format so in the same report we are going to add one more template for this fixed position one so we are again open that particular report in the edit format and click on the add new layout and upload our rtf which which we just build for this fixed base fixed position based report so open that one from our local machine and type should be the e-text template and select the language click on the upload once it uploaded successfully save this particular report to run this report click on the view report so once we click on the view report we can see two tabs for two templates currently first template is running now we'll click on the second tab to run the second layout so here we can see the output in the fixed position format like first person id title first name and last name in the fixed position what we given in the report template in the same format so likewise we can build this fixed position based e-text template report in BIP report. 